What's going on guys? As always, it's Jeremy. And today we're going to be talking about what is Everyday Citizens Tactical? What is its purpose? And what future goals do I have in mind? So what is Everyday Citizens Tactical? Where did it all start? Well, at the end of 2019, beginning of 2020, I was transitioning from the military side to the civilian side right before COVID had started. And reminiscing and reflecting back on everything I did over the past five years, I'd realized not only how much I loved training and how much I loved to learn and educate, but how much I loved training and passing on everything I knew to newer guys. And when I was on my way out, I realized that instructing was something I wanted to continue to do specifically when it comes to everyday people. I am of a very big belief that everyday citizens, regardless of their occupation, regardless of their backgrounds, should not only be well-armed, but they should be well-trained and well-prepared as well. So where does that leave, you know, everyday citizens tactical? Well, there's two sides to it that I've kind of laid the groundwork for. That is the everyday person, and then there's the Minuteman movement. So the everyday person portion, that is kind of the cultural barrier that I'm trying to break that a lot of other people and companies have already started to do. Um, and that is, you know, convincing the everyday person that they should be well-trained and well-prepared, not just on the, the firearm side, not just on the concealed carry side, although that's very important, but also on the medical side and the preparedness side and everything else that really makes a well-rounded individual or, or citizen. And I think as we continue to uh, progress and increase the knowledge and the skills and the preparedness of our everyday citizens, we grow as a community. Um, and I think that is the really big portion of that. When it comes to the Minuteman side, that's something entirely different. Um, I cannot take credit for kind of restarting the fire that is the Minuteman movement, but I've definitely really liked where it's going and I've, I've jumped on board with it a lot. The thing I like about the Minuteman movement the best is one, it's small, it's community based. It's not, uh, focused nationwide, which I think has been the downside of a lot of other two-way movements in the past. Things become too big and they try to become too organized. With the Minuteman movement, everything is small. Everything is very community-based. But it also, as a second part, it directly correlates from that everyday person to the Minuteman movement. The Minutemen are everyday people. So those exact skills and training and preparedness that you take from one side directly correlates to the next side when you start to organize with people in your community. And I think only growing our community's uh, preparedness and relationship is how we're going to progress as a nation, both on the smaller level and the higher level. So what are future goals that I have? I'm going to always continue to put out tons of free content on things that I know um, and I've been trained on in the past that I think everyday people should have. You know, on the Everyday Citizen Tactical website, if you go to the Minuteman tab, at the very bottom of the page, there are tons of free downloadable PowerPoints over different skills. And every couple of weeks, I usually make a new PowerPoint and I post it to my Instagram and I also post it to the website. And you can use those for your local community and those that you organize with on a smaller scale and use that to train. That is all free content that will probably always be free content. Um, I think everybody has the right to knowledge and education. It is not restricted to any class of people. Events, my local group kind of put on our first big of public events back in October at the Red River Gorge. Um, really big uh, on the hiking side, but also um, some other things that went with that. Everybody was in, you know, gear, chest rigs, big packs, rifles, all that kind of stuff. I think the event went really well. We had over 20 people um, and it, I think it went very smoothly. We'll definitely look to do more free events, whether it's a range day or it's like a specific education uh, topic in the future. And then classes. In the future, I would like to have some sort of facility that I can bring students into on the very small scale, whether they're soccer moms, whether they're young college kids, whether they're, you know, regardless of their, their age or association teaching people both the basics and some advanced stuff that I think people should be able to understand and progress to. Like I said before, education is not limited to anybody. And another big thing I'm going to push with that is medical. I think medical is probably more important than your firearm skills 
when it comes to the everyday person, because you can use your medical skills in almost any scenario in life, whereas your firearm skills and that application, that box is very small. Um, and people have asked me about um, products and you know where I see that going with that. I wanna do more than just apparel. A lot of people have asked me about apparel, shirts, flags, stuff like that. And that stuff is great. Um, it, you know, it promotes a movement or an ideology or a belief, but I wanna do more than that. As of the time of this recording, uh, I'm currently working with a guy that's somewhat local to me on creating a everyday IFAC that is kind of tailored to where I see people using both trauma and boo-boo gear the, the most is kind of a, a two for one. Um, so I'm trying to bring more to the market where I think the market may lack. And I think that is practical metal, medical gear for everyday people. A lot of people push, you know, these big blowout kits and serious trauma IFACs and all that kind of stuff. I think we have to scale that down a little bit and expand upon a larger range of skills. And, you know, we may come up with other stuff in the future, but I want to bring more to the market than just apparel. That is really the general gist of Everyday Citizens Tactical. Um, the future has no limits. You know, I don't know where I'll take it if I'll bring other people on board. Um, one thing is for sure, I'll always continue to make education, make educational content and push it and give it to people um, to the best of my ability. You know, I think everybody has that right to education and everybody should pursue education um, and continue to progress. And I think that's something we also have to change as a culture. That's really all I got, guys. Really short video. Just kind of wanted to hit on this as I start pushing out more content and the website has really come along and we're really starting to take those next steps into growing. So if you like this content, like, subscribe, guys. You can find us on our website or my personal Instagram, which is all linked below and will be uh, linked here at the end. As always, guys, train hard, train often.